Cassie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming the TMI, the too much information tag for you guys. I thought this was a cute little way for you guys to get in in all of my business. I'm not going to lie, this, this tag is a little invasive, but I have nothing to hide and you guys are my friends. So let's get started with these questions. I'm currently wearing this really cute off the shoulder floral top that I got from my local boutique. This is the last week I could possibly wear this top, y'all, so I'm rocking it. And I'm also wearing some um, black leggings. Yes, I'm currently in love. I'm in love with Nolan Joseph Vanderhorst. For those who don't know, that is my baby. That's my ace boom coon, my best friend, my ride or die, my everything. <laughs> That's my baby, y'all. I don't think I've been in a terrible breakup. I've had two breakups prior to Nolan, um, but I wouldn't really like call them relationships. Like I was 16 and 17 years old. Like one lasted three months, the other one lasted three months. I mean, if we're comparing three months to eight years and that, no, we're not gonna call that a relationship. That was a joke, okay? But the first one, he broke up with me because within three months he was mad that I wouldn't give up the goods. Like really? What I look like having sex at 16, like, get out of my face. And the second one, he was a great guy, super, super nice, but he wasn't that exciting, so I wasn't having that. So I ended it. So yeah, I wouldn't really say that was a really bad, t I never really had one. I never really had a terrible breakup. I am 5'8", but on paper I like to say that I'm 5'9", but yes, I am 5'8". I weigh 122 pounds and I'm holding on to every single pound. I'm one of those skinny minis that have to like eat a lot just to maintain her weight. Like y'all probably looking at me like, really? But I'm dead, I'm dead serious. Like that's me, whatever, moving on. So I have one tattoo, I have a tattoo of the cross and I am in the process of um, editing and drawing my next tattoo. So be on the lookout for that. I'll probably take you guys on a vlog with me. Yes, I have 10 piercings. I have five on each ear. I used to have my belly button pierced, but that was a complete disaster. My body completely rejected it the second time and the first time I had an abscess and I had to get it drained. It was a nightmare, so I let that go. I took it up for that one. But on my ears, I have five on each. I have a helix, I have um, a cartilage, I have a conch piercing, a regular ear piercing, and a tragus. And I also have another tragus on this ear, a helix. I'm working on the process of getting another helix on both ears. Um, I have two cartilage piercings, a regular lobe, and another tragus. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love my piercings. Hmm, my one true pairing. I don't really idolize couples like that. Um, I, I, I'm just too busy focused on my relationship. But... If I had to choose one true pairing, I would say Beyonce and Jay-Z, like everybody else. My favorite show is Sex and the City, hands down, and I'm Carrie Bradshaw, of course. Sometimes I could be Samantha, but it depends who's asking. Back in the day, I used to love bands a lot. I liked NSYNC, B2K, Paramore, Evanescence, but these days, I'm not really into it. Y'all, I miss my dog. He was a Doberman Pinscher. His name is Benjamin. And he, we usually just let him out and he does his rounds. He goes sees his neighborhood girlfriend and he comes right back. But the days prior to us doing that, he's been like really slow and really lagging. He didn't really want to eat. So one day we just let him out and he never came back, y'all. It's been two months. We went, we have knocked on every person's door in the neighborhood. No one's has seen him. I don't know, I, I feel like he went into a ditch somewhere and died, like... Ugh, oh, Cassandra, get out your feelings, you're recording. I'm sorry. <sighs> Alright, y'all, when I tell y'all what my favorite song is, y'all gonna be like, girl, stop. I'm like, so serious. It doesn't matter what mood I'm in, it doesn't matter where I'm at, I am turning up to the song, and it is by... Elvis Crespo and it's called Suavemente and I know y'all know this jam y'all let's just dance right now Suavemente, 
I am 25 and a fabulous darling. I am a Sagittarius. There are a lot of qualities that I do look for in a partner. Um, one is you have to have a relationship with Jesus. Like that's number one. Um, the second, you have to make me laugh. Like I just can't be sick. I just can't be the only one that's funny here. Like I want to have a good time with you all the time, and no one holds it down. And what else do I look for? Financial stability. You're educated, and you respect your family. Currently, my favorite quote is very simple. It's your thoughts become things. I have applied this into my life and I really see it. Everything that I imagine myself doing, I imagine it first, then I apply it, the action towards it. And when I see the finished product, I'm just like, wow, I really just brought that entire idea into fruition and I'm just super proud of myself. My favorite actor is Leonardo DiCaprio. My favorite color is pink. Oh my gosh, pink, it just does something to me. I don't care if you get me a pink pen, a pink planner, a pink piece of candy, I just get really excited. Yes, this environment is blue, it's very calming. It, it, it helps me to, you know, get my creative juices flowing, but my favorite color is pink. I like both, it depends what mood I'm in. If I'm like trying to brainstorm, or or write something down or if I'm journaling the music will be soft but if I'm like working out or I'm just driving in my car it is loud like my music has to be quaking when I'm sad I like to go to Nolan he makes me feel better like sometimes he's the cause of me being pissed off or sad but he eventually makes up for it if he's just like watching TV I don't care I'll just climb on on his lap and like put my head on his chest and he'll just scratch my head until I go to sleep and when I wake up we'll just talk about it. My showers used to take an eternity but I'm also going to say it depends because if it's wash day it's going to take a while but if it's like a regular day I would say 20 to 25 minutes. It takes me about an hour and 15 minutes to get ready in the morning. Y'all, don't get it twisted. I throws hands, okay? Don't come for me, don't come for my family, don't come for my parents, don't come for my food. I don't fight anymore, let's be honest, I don't fight anymore. But when I used to be younger, my twin brother and I used to duke it out like toe to toe throwing bowls. Like, you don't want it with me. I am what you call a sapiosexual and I am aroused by intellect and good conversation like that kind of stuff turns me on if you can teach me and just drop some knowledge on me me the queen of research and you can drop some knowledge on me you got it my turnoffs are bad breath bad hygiene dirty fingernails if you're overly arrogant and you have zero reason to be go have a seat get out my face The reason why I joined YouTube is because I wanted to create a platform for myself where I can inspire, motivate, and encourage women. Like, I, every time I go on YouTube, I couldn't really find what I was looking for, so I decided to become just that. I love what I do. It's a great outlet for me to be creative. I, I surprise myself every single time I upload a video. I, I Something surfaces that I never even knew that was inside me, and I just, I'm excited to see how far this channel can grow and the exciting people that I can meet throughout the way. I have a lot of fears, um, don't we all? I have a fear of deep water. I'm not that confident of a swimmer. I have a fear of public speaking. I remember this one time I was in a pageant, Miss Teen Atlanta, Miss Teen Georgia, and they asked me the question, I will never forget the question, the question was, what is your definition of a winner? My definition of a winner is, and I completely blacked out, I saw the people there, I saw them looking at me and I completely blacked out. And ever since then, I never stepped back, stepped foot back on a stage again. So this channel is helping me to be more comfortable and confident with speaking. So 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna join another pageant, so be on the lookout for that as well. Y'all, I am a crybaby. Like, any little thing that, like, touches my heart will make me cry. I could be watching, I don't know, a compilation of car accidents, and I'll just probably see one car accident that, like, their, their lives were spared. I'm just like crying. I'm like, praise the Lord. I'm just crying. Or that one song from Twilight gets me every single time. Go ahead on YouTube and type in Bella's Lullaby. That song makes me cry every single time. It's so beautiful. It's so sad. It's, it's, there's no vocals. It's just piano. And the fact that I can be moved through music, amazing. The last time I told someone I loved them was today. I told my mother I loved her, I told my dad I loved him, I told Nolan I loved him, I told my nephew I loved him, I told my niece I loved him. I, I tell my family members that I love them all the time. My YouTube name is Cassandra Sylvain, but I also have another one which is Cassie Biggs. My YouTube name used to be Cassie Mofo Biggs, but um, throughout my relationship with Christ as I'm growing in it, I, I got really convicted so I just X that out, and now it's just Cassie Biggs. The last book I read was by Robert Greene and it's called The Art of Seduction. All right, so I barely watch television as it is, but last night was a reminder of why I don't. Like, I was watching uh, a reunion of Housewives of New York. It was a hot mess. It was just drama. These. <laughs> Stupidity, truly, honestly, truly, stupid. So the last person I texted was Kamaria, who is one of my best friends. She's so funny, loyal as hell. Shout out to you, girl, and I know you're watching. And be on the lookout for a video with her and I in the future. She's hella funny, and you guys will love her. My favorite food is seafood. Everything under the sea. Fish, crabs, clams, oysters, everything. I love it. Gosh, there's so many places that I want to visit, but if I could pick one from the top of my head, I would say I want to visit the pyramids in Egypt. That would be dope as hell. And so the last place I visited was about two weekends ago, and I went to Destin, Florida with Bay. We went on a little vacation. Do I have a crush? Of course I have a crush, duh. I'm like cheesing just thinking about him. The last time I kissed someone was last night, nosy. Do I have to say anything else? It was last night, okay. The last time I've been insulted was probably like a week ago when arguing with my brother. You know that one family member that just comes for your life for no reason because like you just you just you just pop in and you just can't take it? Yeah. It was one of those situations. <laughs> Can you blame him though? Psst. Please. Favorite flavor of sweet. Sweet, bruh. What kind of question is that? I don't know, sweet and sour, sweet and salty, sweet, bruh. I like to play the piano. I've been playing the piano since I was a kid. I taught Nolan a few different songs. And the fun fact is um, I can't read sheet music and I only play by ear and I taught Nolan how to play those songs by ear too. Well, my favorite pieces of jewelry are my earrings. I just think they're just so beautiful. Like the idea of adorning yourself with jewels is just so beautiful to me. I don't play games. Next question. Alright guys, so I like to do karaoke. I'm like the queen of karaoke and the last song I sang was Grenade by Bruno Mars. <gasps> I don't have a big of line y'all. I'm just cast. I'm just like, hey, let's be friends. So the last time I hung out with someone was about last week and it was with my homegirl, Sarah J Speaks. Y'all, Sarah is so 
funny when we're when we're together i'm barely talking i'm crying laughing hollering and screaming and she is just going off on any random topic she's so funny and she just launched a youtube channel y'all sarah j speaks i'm gonna put all of her information in the description box below follow her make sure you guys subscribe and comment below on her channel and tell her who sent you okay so since this is a tag i'm gonna tag three of my favorite youtubers and we're all up and coming and new on the block and i'm going to um tag moni love i'm going to put her information in the description box below sanaya sherelle and as well as sarah j speaks all right guys thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this entire video i thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys